everybody welcome back to the channel I uh, hope you all had a good week I've been a bit slack on getting videos out but I wanted to make a special video here on um, mapping your pens right a lot of our customers are working with 3d files but we also have customers working with 2d DXFs DWGs so what I wanted to do is show you how you can map um, certain pen colors like example you want to map you want the bend lines to come in and so you can map layers you can map pen colors that way you can tie that in with auto tooling right so let's go ahead and i'm just going to open up a part here so if I'm, I'm in drafting right now if i open a dxf i can come in here and we can go all right let's go libraries um Let's see if I've got any DXFs in here. Whoops. File format DXF. No. 2D. All right. So I've got some DXFs in here. Um, I don't know which one is a good one and which one has any mapping on it. Oh. Right. So, if I open up a DXF and I've got bend lines and what have you, um, and etching lines that I want to etch, I can come in here and you can see I've got a template. I have a standard template I call inch. I can come to options <clears throat> and then I can come in here. You can do font mapping. I never really see anybody use font mapping. I don't use it. Um, never have and I've been around the software since uh, late 90s um, early 2000 so but if I come in here to mapping I can map the different layers right so if I come in here um, map any layer any color so maybe I have a cyan color and maybe I want it to match a particular color so five right I want um, this green color to match pen 5 right and I'll convert it to um, just uh, convert to a similar line type hit OK and now I've got one in here so anytime I have a DXF that has a green line on it it'll change it to pen 5 the reason I do that is because if I come in here and I open up a DXF right so um this one here i'm just gonna change this pen color right but let's let's put some let's let's put a line on here right and we'll change the color oops because we'll say it it's change it to pen five and say i i have a weldment that's going to be welded on this line right so when i come into here when I go into tooling, I can actually come in here and you can see in my tooling, I've got a pen 5 to match an etch, so it'll automatically etch that line, right? So that's where it comes in handy when you're opening DXFs and you come into your options and you convert the pen layers, right? Or convert separate layers so um hope that explains it all but remember what you need to do is just go part drafting open your dxf file and then you can come down here to options and then you can come in and add or edit okay and you can delete them and you can do that but you can save it as different um templates as well Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. There'll be another video coming out later this week. Um, remember, like, subscribe, leave a comment if you need more details on it. Or remember, if, if you're using Radin and you're on support, give the support guys a call, create a case, whatnot, or go to www.radan.com for more support options in there. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a great day and a great week.